Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is spin oil cancer. But before starting this topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. So this is a very important topic, and uh, this is just a summary, you know, in this video. But in the in few days, I will uh, upload more videos about uh, uh, the causes, signs, and symptoms, and the treatment options and diagnosis for the penile cancer. You know, so this is just about summary. You know. But before that, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, the penile cancer is a disease in which the malignant cancer cells form in the tissues of the penis, you know. And the penile cancer is usually found on the glands and the foreskin of the penis, but it can also occur on the shaft of the penis. And almost all penile cancers benign, and I mean, uh, they begin in the skin of the uh, penis, you know. And the causes and the risk factors for the development of uh, this type of cancer include like human papilloma virus, uh, known as HPV infections, you know, and we are not being circumcised and uh, being age 60 or over and uh, uh, phimosis and the poor hygiene, you know, and the many, uh, many sexual partners, you know, AIDS and uh, ultraviolet treatment for psoriasis, you know, and the tobacco use. So these are the risk factors, you know. Now the signs and the symptoms uh, uh, include like sores or the, uh, like uh, redness, irritation or discharge or bleeding and uh, lump on that area, you know. And the biopsy may be taken to determine if uh, you have the penile cancer. So your doctor will perform the physical examination and ask the questions about the history of this condition and then he may advise uh, or may order the biopsy just to see if those uh, growth or that uh, uh, mass is uh, cancerous or non-cancerous, you know. Now once diagnosed then the treatment uh, uh, will include like surgery or radiation therapy or the chemotherapy but again it depends on the individual's health and the stage you know. It may be one uh, um, combination of more than uh, one uh, uh, treatment options you know like uh, maybe altogether surgery, radiation and chemotherapy you know. And the prognosis and the treatment options depend upon the stage and, uh, and the location and the size of the tumor and whether the cancer is uh, has just begun uh, when it's diagnosed or it has recurred, you know, or it has uh, uh, spread to other parts of the body, you know. And for stage one and stage two cancer, uh, which is limited uh, only to the that specific area, you know, uh, the five year survival rate is about 85%. And uh, once the cancer has spread to the surrounding tissues or the lymph nodes, uh, which means at stage two and uh, or four, you know, uh, the five years survival rate is about 59 percent thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day keep watching goodbye